welcome back to the channel for another video. Today is Thursday, and so today we are going to be doing Palette Roulette Thursday with the Glam Gals. Um, and who are the Glam Gals? Well, I'm going to tell you here in a minute. But before we get started, if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So happy that you're here. And I hope by the if you're new and you're not subscribed, that by the end of this video, you might want to go watch some more videos and you may want to decide, hey, not bad content. I'll subscribe. You know, just saying. But anyway, all right. So, the Glam Gals consist of me, myself, Makeup with Gloria Peace, my name's Gloria, uh, Christine with Life with Christine, and Jennifer with Jennifer Loves Makeup. And we are doing Palette Roulette Thursday today. So, yeah. So, before, without further ado, oh, let me tell you what we do. So, what we do is we have our, I'm getting ahead of myself, we put our palettes in a spin wheel, and then we spin that wheel, and then whatever palette that wheel lands on is the palette that we used for this for this video for our palette roulette thursday video um you can put all your palettes i am burning up hold on turn my fan on <laughs> anyway you can put all your palettes in one spin wheel and spin it whatever it lands on me what i've done is i've divided my spin wheel i have different spin wheels for de depending on the brand that I have, like I have one for Nomad, I have one for ColourPop, I have one for Juvia's Place, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then I've, if I have like palettes where I just have one, maybe one from that brand or two, then what I've done is put them in a spin wheel. This is my miscellaneous. So yeah, that's what I've done. Well, today I decided that I wanted to do the spin wheel for ColourPop. So hold on and I'll show you the, um, palette that it chose for me today. So it chose the Cloud Nine, which is a new one. I've never used this one. Got this in the mystery box not too long ago. So it chose this palette for me. There's no mirror, which is fine with me. I don't use the mirrors. And it's kind of, you know, a really neutral, got some browns and silvers and stuff in it. So we're going to create a look with it. The first thing I did, I've got my eye primer on, which is that the Stuck On You from Beauty Crop. I use that as my eye primer. And then I set that primer with this white one, all fluff. I set my primer with that. And so now I'm gonna go into my, I'm gonna do my transition. Um, I'm gonna use Perfect Day, which is this brown right here. I'm going to go in with that in my transition. And I'm going to use, what is this brush? This is a Game Beauty brush. I'm going to use that brush. So, yeah. So, we used to do this on a regular basis. You know, and then life happens. Um, life happens, and we pause for a while, and now we're back. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna kind of put this in my transition and my lighting probably, I need to plug up my ring light, but I'm too lazy to get back up, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> but it's a cloudy day, rainy, cloudy day here, so yeah. All right. This is a neutral brown. Kind of do a little blending. Very pretty. You know, I like neutrals. I mean, I like colors too, but I do like my neutrals. Don't get me wrong. They look, I think they look the best on me. That's just my opinion though. All right, and so who are the Glam Gals? So there's Christine with Life with Christine. Um, Christine is very bubbly and very, very engaging. And she um, does a lot of different stuff on her content, on her content on her channel. She does some unboxings. She does some hauls. She does a lot of um, Timu hauls. And um, she does nails. She does get ready with me's. She does some grocery hauls. She does some, uh, I think she used to do, I'm not sure if she still did the Wellness Wednesdays. She just does all kinds. She does a big variety of stuff on her channel. 
sometimes I think I need to branch out, but you know, we don't do that. But anyway, and so, and she's, you need to go watch her. I'm sure you already know her. I'm sure you already subscribed to her, but if you're not, go check her out. She's very bubbly. If you're in a bad mood, go watch her because she'll put you in a good mood. And then, look at that. I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty. I want to do some blending though. And then there is Jennifer, Life with Jennifer. Jennifer does a lot of different content. She does a lot of Get Ready With Me. She does some lives. Her and Christine both do lives uh, together with um, another YouTuber, um, The C, Sierra, The C. Um, I don't do lives, but so they do those. Um, Jennifer does, um, she's doing right now some unedited Get Ready With Me as she gets ready for work in the morning. She does that one or two of those a week. Um, she does some hauls. She does some subscription boxes. She's been doing, um, I don't know. I don't get on TikTok. I've never been on TikTok, but she gets, she goes on TikTok and something about someone, there's somebody that goes out to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I think maybe Burlington. I don't know. Anyway, does lives and shopping. And so if you want something, you somehow you buy it that way. I don't really know how that works. And I know she's been doing quite a bit of that lately. Getting things besides makeup. Okay, put a little bit more here. And let's see. Um, yeah. So go check them out. Go, and go check out their videos for today after you watch mine, of course. Right. Oh, and I forgot to say, as usual, I don't have my base on. I'll put that on after just in case there's any fallout, which I, so far I haven't had any. That's pretty. I like that. All right, now let's go into, using the same brush, I'm gonna go into a little, mm, do I wanna use the same brush? Yeah, we're gonna go into a little darker brown. I'm gonna go into this, what is this one? Hmm? Go, maybe? I don't know what that one is, but anyway, we're gonna go into this darker brown here. Using that same brush. Kind of put that in the crease. Maybe I, that brush is not gonna work. I need a little bit tighter brush. Um, oh, here's one. If I can get my fingers on it. We'll go with this um, brush from BH. Go with this brush here. Let's try that again. Yeah, this might work better. So anyway, go check them out. There we go. Just kind of put that in the contour just to kind of deepen up a little bit. Like that, just to kind of deepen that up some. Go on to the other side. So, how has your week, oh, how has your week been? The weather has been really nice up until today. <laughs> it is raining. But then I think it's supposed to be nice this weekend. So yeah, anyway, I'll take it. Okay, do some more blending. Let's see, I don't really have a lot going on right now. I do wanna say that if you believe in prayer, um, good vibes, whatever you believe in, if you could send it for a friend of my husband's, um, he, he got COVID 
um, and he was very, very sick in the hospital on respirator vent and all that. He's home now, but the COVID attacked his heart. And um, so now he has damaged heart valves that there's not a whole lot that they can do. Um, but just pray for him. You know, I mean, he, he's going to, he's on medication. <clears throat> just pray for him to get his strength back because he's, you know, he's an older man. He's 75, but he was very active. You wouldn't know he was 75 before he got sick. And so, yeah, just pray for him. Send good vibes, whatever, that he gets his strength back. Put up my lost. Back in with that first brown. Just a little bit there. I lost a little of that. But yeah. All right. So that's that. Now. So I cut my crease. I didn't do it on camera because I'm still learning how to do it. I, I'm getting better at it, but anyway, I'm practicing it all along. I did it with the uh, Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I used that, and I'm trying to learn how to do a cut crease. Eh, it's all right, but anyway, we ain't here for that. We here to get this eye look done. So I think, I think I'm gonna go in with this. I can't read that, but whatever, with this silvery color here on the this half of my eyelid. Find a brush for that. I'm gonna use this Game Beauty E E02 brush. Try that. See what that does. So, my husband lost another friend in February who also got the virus, and um, he wasn't so lucky. He went into the hospital, put on a vent, and he passed away. So, yeah. And he was only in his 60s. My husband took that one pretty hard because they were pretty good friends. Been friends for a lot of years and the one now he's been he's been friends with for a lot of years he used to work with them in the military and but they start were in the military and yeah so yeah All right, that's not bad, that's not bad. Oh shoot. Do a little bit of blending. Don't wanna do much. That's not bad. What do you think? That's not bad. All right, now for the inner corner part of the eye, I want to use something. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I want to go lighter. So let's go with find another brush. Use this from Lorella. 
doesn't say what it is. It kind of, but anyway, this blush brush here. I think I'm gonna go in. with this lighter shimmery gray here. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty. I do like that. Kind of bring that up over a little bit. That's pretty. I like that. All right, let's do the other eye. In the last 18 months, with my family and friends of my husband, there's just been too many people dying. Way too much death, way too much death, way too much death. 10 people in 18 months. One's too many, but 10 is way too many. All right. Mm. Pretty. I think that's pretty. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to finish everything up and come back and show you the finished look and we'll talk about it. So hold on. Hey, I'm back and this is my finished look. Let me know what you think. I think it came out pretty. I'm not sure that the lip really matches it, but hey, we're going with it today. I got it on, didn't want to. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so let's just go through what I did. So when I went off, I cleaned up around the eye a little bit, and then let me finish, we'll finish with the eyes, and then we'll go to the base. So for my eyeliner, I didn't do an eyeliner underneath, but I did a top eyeliner. I went in with this Stormy Skies, this black, and I used that as my eyeliner. And then in my waterline, I used my oh, got mascara on it, my um, ColourPop Shadow Sticks in Cold Girl, which is just a shimmery white. I used that in my waterline to kind of open it, things up. And I also used it in my inner corner today. I thought, why not? We'll do that. And then right below my brow area, I went in with, um, I think this is called droplets. This here, and just put a little bit there just to kind of, you know, brighten that up a little bit and do a little, not quite so harsh. All right. And then for my eyebrows, all I did for my eyebrows, I think that this, you know, I don't really know. But anyway, I just went in with this brow, this clear brow gel. I want to say this is Urban Decay, but I don't know. It might, I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, with a clear brow gel is all I used for my brows today. Um, then for my mascara, I, of course, used my L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Base Eyelash Primer Base. And then, right now, I'm using this um, Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I don't remember. I think I might have gotten this in a Busy Beauty Box. Maybe, I bet you. So, um, that's my mascara. So, that finishes up the eyes. Now let's go to the base. So for my primer today, I used um, Catrice, um, the Perfector Poreless Blur Primer with niacinamide. I use that. And for my base, okay, so there's a little story behind this. I got this Revolution Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation in F2 um, because I wanted to try it. I have used it with 
all kinds of primers. Did not like it one bit. Didn't look good. It immediately settled into all my fine lines and just looked horrible. And I was about ready to give up. And then I remember that I had this Catrice one and I hadn't tried it with this one. So I thought, let me try it with this one. So it happened. Well, it actually looks better. I can deal with it. You know, maybe not on a go out places, but you know, every day around the house, I can wear this. So I used this for my base, <laughs> long story short. And um, so I like that. Then um, for my bronzer, I used my L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It in the light, 01 light. Use that in my bronzer. And I'm starting to, about to hit pan on it. Is that for my bronzer today? Then I did something different for my blush. You know, I think I showed you, I don't know if you've seen this video yet or not. I don't know if you've seen this video, but anyway, I got this um, Super Shock um, from ColourPop in the color Beat Drums, which is a red, and I don't really want to use that on my eyeballs. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna try this blush. I don't know. So I use it as a blush today. It works for me. I think it looks all right. So that's what I use it for as a blush. Um, and then for my, I used for my under eye concealer, I used the um, Jeffree Star in, oh gosh, C2. I use that. I don't have very good luck with under eye concealers, but anyway, I used it. I've got it, so I used it. And then for my powder, setting powder, I used the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Use that. Then for my highlighter, I use from Lottie London. I use this gray, the Rebel. Use just a little bit of that. Just a little bit of shine there and on my nose, Cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. Use, so I use that. Then for my lips, they don't really go with this look, but whatever. I put it on and I just didn't want to take it off. <laughs> I used my Gerard Cosmetics Sugar and Spice Lip Pencil, which is a brown. Then I used the Gerard Cosmetics French Toast Lipstick. And then I went in with um, Natasha Denona. I don't remember the color, but with that lip on top of that. So that's my look. <laughs> it's my finished look. Let me know what you think. How do you, what do you think about the, using the Super Shock as a blush? I think I did all right, actually. Maybe I should have blended a little better, but I think it looks good. I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. And um, yeah, don't forget to go and watch uh, Christine, Life with Christine and Jennifer, Jennifer Less Makeup, their videos. I will have their channels linked in the description. Go see what their uh, spin wheel chose for them and the look that they created. Cause you know, that's what I'm gonna do when I leave here. All right guys, um, <clears throat> don't forget to do a thumbs up if you don't mind. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.